so I guess this is gonna be a series of videos since I did so great on the first one okay so exercised went home couple days passed my hand was still numb <laughs> so this is the point where I'm like oh okay I really did something to my neck back shoulder you know so my husband was concerned about me as he always is more than I am about myself and he said you have to go in and I said well I'll go to urgent care but I mean they're just gonna say yeah you probably pinched a nerve or you know so my first trip was to urgent care um, and that's the first time I kind of thought maybe something was unusual because, you know, she kind of did the check and I told her where my numbness was, that it was pretty much all my fingers and it, you know, and then the sensation that I had when it went numb. And she, of course, you know, just being urgent care physician, you know, she thought, yeah, you probably did pinch a nerve and then she maybe thought it was a little carpal tunnel-ish, so she thought, Maybe it's carpal tunnel, which I'm like, no, that doesn't sound like it. But I was like, okay, maybe it is some type of nerve to the wrist, you know, carpal tunnel. So she, um, I think, gave me a dose of prednisone um, to kind of go with that to see if it could, you know, the inflammation would go down wherever it was coming from. And she gave me a little brace to wear. And um, I was like, okay, so we'll try this, you know. We'll Try some prednisone and try that and kind of went back to work and, you know, I work with a couple doctors and I just let them know, you know, how, how my numbness was and they kind of looked at me like, oh, that sounds a little unusual for carpal tunnel and so I knew pretty much right away and my mom's an, also an occupational therapist so she's like, that's not carpal tunnel, you know, she, so we were thinking it was more shoulder, neck, nerve stuff. And so fast forward and, you know, I stopped wearing the brace and the prednisone wasn't working. Went to go see my primary doctor and she, she also was kind of stumped. She thought it was probably the shoulder or neck also and that, you know, once, once things settled down that it would come back. Mm -hmm. So started to work and I, I saw her pretty much every every day like we'd see each other just because we worked together um, on my floor and she'd just say still numb I'm like yeah it's still numb still quite numb and so I kind of just sat on it you know thinking maybe it'll get better you know and just kept working had some issues with some grip but I had to just you know keep on going forward and then that's when my husband, of course, came to me and said, is it still numb? And I'm like, yeah, it's still numb. He's like, you need to do something. And I agreed. Um, one day we were in the car and I had rolled down the window by accident. I guess my hand fell on the little switch and I yelled at him. I said, why are you rolling down my window? And he's like, oh, it was you. And I said, okay, I'll go in. I'll get some nerve testing, which I thought was what was going to happen. And she also, my doctor, suggested an MRI. So by the time this happened, it was it was July. <laughs> so I had sat on my numb hand since for quite a while. And so I finally went to her and said, okay, I'll get the MRI. And she's like, oh, yeah, it'll take a while to set that up just with insurance and such. And um, got scheduled for my MRI in July, I think it was July 2017. Um, but I thought they're not gonna find anything. I probably just really like slipped a disc or a nerve in my neck. So that's my thoughts when I went into the MRI. 